my name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that chirp wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Oh, never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. Yeah, don't go banking on anything. We're gonna have to work pretty hard just to stay alive. Me and you, though, we can handle that shit. What would I do without you? You hear me now. If you find yourself alone, you fight like they do. You hit them hard and fast before they even know you're there, and then you go back into the dark. That understood, Sergeant? Yeah. Understood. This is something else. You don't think? I well, know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Well, I don't remember them showing much respect for New York City a couple of years back. So now all brown people gotta suffer, that it? That's not what I meant. You know me better than that. Yeah, I thought I did. All I'm saying is that this country has its fair share of monsters, right? Does it now? When we're back home, we'll laugh about it. Yeah, maybe you can tell me how you feel about us black folks. Mailman 2-1 Actual, this is Dropkick. Request update, over. 2-1 Actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Retreat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard, over. I hear you. Over now. At approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, wing. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased, almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again.
It's the closest I've been to hell. Do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. <laughs> Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder? Undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. That's gonna get us out of here. It's beautiful. Check out the carvings on it. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some chargers? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Let's go for maximum coverage. Wire up the middle of the corridor. Let's do it. We've got to make each one count. Hear your brain taken away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. I 
It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Dropkick out. Mount a camera here. Let's head back. Can't be anything good. The 28th of December. God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place.
is that light? Creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored, oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Cool check, is that you? like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs>
We have to hurry. It's not safe here. that you could fight yeah me either who was that thing i don't know whatever it is it's not alone where have you been one of those things got its dirty hands on me dragged me down here left me for dead fuck fuck doesn't even start to cut it i'm lucky to have gotten away you're talking to a scientist there's no such thing as luck you should be thankful i was there to help you I didn't need saving. I can handle myself. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's your problem? <laughs> of all the people I had to be trapped with down in this pit, it had to be you. You know what they call you back at the base? You're obviously dying to tell me. Queen bitch. And I'm starting to see why. Queen bitch, huh? Sounds about right. Someone's got to wear the crown. So, this is where you've been hiding out. Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? It looks painful. It is. I think you can keep still. Thanks, Quarries. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were gonna say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. Give me the silent treatment, huh? I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not, not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? 
And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> Easy Street? I had to graph to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! Don't come any closer. What's happening to me? Please stay with me. I can't promise anything. Listen to me. Something is happening to you. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <clears throat> side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <laughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? We don't know enough about those things. Come on, Rachel. Don't bullshit me. It doesn't look good. Truth is so overrated. If it happens, if I turn, you have to kill me. If you turn, won't be you I'm killing. <sighs> oh, shit. You okay? Yeah, just... Seen anything come up, Sergeant? Not yet, at least. Over. Knowledge. 
Nothing on the cameras inside either. Over. Stay frosty. Go check out.